Hi, my name's Dan, and this video is one in a series of videos that I'm doing about vectors and their use in Unreal. And it's both uh, an excuse to teach some fundamental ideas about vectors and uh, a way of getting into some of the that stuff in Unreal. Uh, understanding vectors uh, when using Unreal is really quite useful. Um, um, and so the point of this series is to actually get you some decent grasp of vectors and what's going on with vectors. Um, in this one, I'm going to have a quick exploration of an idea uh, called uh, normal vectors. Um, and this is not to be confused with another term, which is normalized vectors, which I will do in the next video in the series. Uh, so a normal vector is a vector that is, um, uh, which is points out from a surface. To be a little bit more precise, it is perpendicular to all of the lines that are in that surface. So I've got this um, this little pad here on the floor. We'll be exploring some stuff with this in a minute. Um, and you'll see there's there's the widget in the center here, which has got the, uh, the blue, green, and red um, arrows. And uh, a vector that is normal to this surface which is the flat surface that's, that's facing up is this vector that i've just highlighted the blue one which is the z one which points directly upwards now if i rotated this uh pad a little bit that would no longer be true so um we've got the we can see the blue still goes upwards but the surface has been angled so our normal vector that's to that surface is now slightly off to that direction. So what I'm going to do to start off with is I'm going to actually draw a normal vector from this um, from this thing. And this is a blueprint that I've got. So um, I'll just put it back for now. Um, so the way that we're going to do this is in the event tick, and we're just going to get hold of the up vector which is the local Z, as it were, uh, oh, vector. And it's, we happen to be arranged, to, oh, oh, that gets it from the rotation. If I can just get the oh, vector, vector up. Hopefully that'll do it. Um, and uh, we're going to do a draw a debug arrow. Um, so, um, yeah, up is... If if our object is flat, so it's kind of horizontal, then up is the normal vector. And if I if we move it around, then the the normal vector isn't necessarily up. This uh, particular thing is set up so that this box um, is shaped uh, in in this way, so that this top surface has got a, a normal vector that points upwards. Right, let's go back into the the graph. Um, so I've got the vector that goes up, uh, and that is a vector of unit length. So I'm going to actually um, I'll just make it bigger because unit length is only one centimeter in um, in Unreal. So I'll just multiply is what I want with some of X. There we go, and change that node to be a float or node pin, and I'll multiply by how much we have. Let's just make it one meter. Um, we can't just draw that vector because that we don't know where it starts. So we're actually going to need to do uh, a vector relative to the uh, the actual location of this uh, of this blueprint. So I'm going to do get vector location, and I'm going to so that that vector gets us to the start to to the kind of local origin of that thing and then they want that to be the start of the vector so the vector end is that plus that so let's add those two together and we're going to do draw debug arrow nope that box let's try arrow that's better so our starting point is the actual location and our end point is the x location plus that vector multiplied 
Um, and fairly confidently, I hope that this is going to draw a nice little um, vector that points directly upwards. And I hope to be able to show that when I rotate this, that vector moves with it. And it has not. Um, so bother. Uh, what I'm going to do is uh, panic. No, let's not panic. Let's do. Um, that is just an up vector. Let's do uh, self. I always get this wrong. So I'll see if I can get X up location. Get up vector of the box. That's what I want. So hopefully I don't have to panic anymore. Let's play. Hurrah! We can see that that vector is now angled so that it is still pointing outwards from that surface. That's the that's the normal vector. Right, we're just going to use that vector to for one cook effect. Um, this is, to be honest, entirely manufactured just to show you something using the normal vector. Um, the most common use of normal vectors actually is for lighting calculations, which is something that you don't have to worry about in Unreal unless you're getting very advanced stuff because Unreal does it for you. Um, but we're going to use that vector as a uh, normal vector to uh, do something uh, funky. So we have, uh, as well as our party, you might have noticed I've got this little box here, which I've called small cube um, off to the side. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make that move in such a way that it's relative to the player, but determined by that normal vector. Um, that's here. Why am I going there? I don't know. I need to be in here. So um, we're going to get, first of all, we need to find the vector from the player to uh, that pad, which is very easy. Let's move that out of the way. And we're going to get actual location. And actually, we're going to get player on and then get actual location from that. Right, I want the want from the player to the pad. So from A to B and to the vector from A to B, you should you need B minus A and our pad is B. So I'm going to have get out to location minus this. So that is the vector that is um, from the player to the pad. We're going to make that box come out in a reflected vector. So I'm going to do reflect, the get reflection vector, and it's asking me for a surface normal. And that is the normal that we want from here, which is this up vector. So I'm going to plug that in, and that gives us a, a resultant vector. Now, once again, that, that now is a vector from the pad to the small cube, um, or uh, it's, that's what we want it to be, so we need to add it to the actor location as well. Um, otherwise, it'd be from the origin. Plus, I'm going to get that small cube. Um, that world location. Put that in. Pass that through, and hopefully, if I've done everything right, and I don't have to have another panic, that little box is flying around, and it's kind of opposite the player. And if the player jumps, it goes with it. And what it's doing is it's taking a vector from the player to the point, which is at the base there, which is where I'm standing on, and doing a reflection. Uh, Ross, that, um, that normal vector. And that's it from me for now.